Behind Budapest Scratch, the other runner sprinting away from the 1200 metre marker. Cutting edge is right there, Victoria Lavelle. Mattel has a good position shortly after the start. They're followed by Royal Armour Bunkable on the outside with Captain Swarovski. Al Azrax in the blue near the rail. Further back in the runners, red carpet captain, then Psycho Sird. Captain Chaos is one of the trailers as they move now towards the 700 and Ernie is the trailer. Victoria Lavelle leads it. On the outside of that one is Natel, Captain Swarovski and Cutting Edge, then Royal Armour. Bunker Bull, Al Azrax near the rail, red carpet captain, then Psycho Sird. Further back in the run then is Ernie and Captain Chaos. Top of the lane, Victoria Lavelle brings it in. Cutting edge on the inside, Al Azrax in the blue, Natel towards the outside, then Captain Swarovski, red carpet captain, Ernie all running on, so is Captain Chaos. Cutting edge comes into the lead. Al Azrak, Victoria Ravel, Ernie on the inside. It gets close. Anybody can win it. Red carpet captain. Red carpet captain comes home to win it. Second perhaps Ernie. Third Al Azrak and cutting edge. Number eight, red carpet captain. Stable companion gets scratched, Budapest. And red carpet captain comes to the fore. Gavin Van Zayl, Warren Kennedy for Brian Bernard, Clava Flay Stud. Number eight on the tote, shows up 25 rand the win. Second to Ernie. Third place, El Azrak, Cutting Edge, Royal Armour, Captain Chaos, Victoria Lavelle. And then the toad favourite, number one, Captain Swarovski, Natel and Bunker Bull, and then Psycho Sir. The head on, the winners, three off the left hand side, the white nose band gets a lovely split between horses, and red carpet captain, the Captain L records its fourth win from 15 outings, comes to cutting edge, El Azrak on the inside, towards the outside, Bunker Bull, Ernie's in the green on the left hand side, but red carpet captain is victorious, Warren Kennedy the winning rider. Twelfth and last race still to come, back to the studio. Captain has come through to win race number 11 at uh, this stage, paying 25 rand 30 for a win and 5 rand 60 for a place. And uh, number 8, red carpet captain, partnered by Warren Kennedy, and uh, giving Warren a nice double on the card as well. We saw him uh, win on Iska earlier on today, and it's also a double for the Fanzale team. As Andrew mentioned, the source was gelded on the 31st of May 2016. His first run back from gelding and boom, into the number one box. Always promised a lot as a young horse. And uh, maybe now that he's gelded, we could see him back to winning ways. Notching up his fourth career win, if you caught this exacta, this should pay handsomely with number two, Ernie. And then number 12, which was uh, another outsider in the race, Rounding off that trifecta that was Al Azrak and that quartet number six and uh, what was number six on the card. That was cutting edge. So no sign of Captain Swarovski, no sign of the stable companion Victoria Lavelle in Budapest we know was stretched at the start. Eight, two, twelve and six. Over to Craig for the leading of race number eleven. Welcome back to the winner's enclosure. Well, lots of excitement over here for the son of Captain Al, who has bounced back in no uncertain terms. There's a, a really good story behind him because he's always been a horse laden with talent. All they needed to do was to cut the back wheels out, and he's delivered in spades today. And it just pays to listen to Understarter's orders. I was listening to Gareth Van Zale, and he was telling us the exact reason why they decided to cut the horse. Warren Kennedy, if you'll come and join us for a second, it looked like he got dropped from a helicopter. Well done, yeah. my son. Yeah, Dees, uh, it's, it's very nice. Do I look like Dees. Uh, sorry, man. Sorry, Andrew. <laughs> sorry, I'm so used to Dees. <laughs> but yeah, um, just to Uncle Brian and to Gareth, they've done a phenomenal job. I mean, Uncle Brian 
allowed Garrett to cut this horse now, and it's, it's what he's been looking for, you know. Um, it was difficult as a two-year-old, the races were coming up, and there's no time to cut him. So he's been cut. He went down to start like an absolute bum with me, like a, a real aeroplane. He's run behind the likes of Talk to the Stars, who won the big race at Scottsville. So he's got the ability, but he put it together today, and still looking around, still got a bit to learn. He's still an immature horse, but he finished off well. That's what, what amazed me is that he's performed so well so soon after the gelding. Yeah, yeah, you know, all credit must go to Gareth, you know. He got him fit after the gelding and backed off him and he came to his race nice and fresh and, you know, wanting to run and, and he proved today he, he pulled away towards the end. Well, Patrick Loker is the commercial executive of Gold Circle. He's got your trophy. Patrick, if we can uh, possibly give uh, Warren his presence, his trophy. Thank you very much to Patrick Loker. He's the commercial executive of Gold Circle. Polished ride by Warren Kennedy. Now, the winning trainer is Gareth Finzel, representing Team Finzel, Team G Racing. Transparency has always been your forte, and I really must commit, commend you for the way in which you put it this morning. Thanks so much, Andrew. You know, we can only call it as it is. The public deserves to get all the information they can on a day like this when it's really tough, and, you know, we help where we can. He just is one of those breathtakingly beautiful horses, and I'm, I'm sure he's going to go on to something like a group one that he deserves. Yeah, Andrew, um, that exact fact is what's taken us so long to win another race with him because I was loath to gold him. He's just such a beautiful specimen, and I've always been confident that he's got a big race in him, and, you know, I was hoping that perhaps he could end up in the Stallion Barns, but um, it wasn't happening um, you know, with regards to Hema concentrating and he just wasn't putting it in. So, yeah, we are on a fresh leaf. It's worked to Uncle Brian for supporting me, you know. Ended up sending those 2,000 metres in desperation to try and get it out of him. But um, at the end of the day, you've got to do what you've got to do. And, you know, to Clover Flay Stud, well done, Captain Al. Now we've got some really nice quality Captain Owls, thank you to them, to Warren, he's riding exceptionally well, to Jessica, you know, she, she puts it all together at the yard and it's come together. Thank you to my dad for the support and what a lovely day to the sponsors of this race, Tab Gold, well done to Gold Circle and uh, Vodacom. Terrific, Gareth, beautifully said. Patrick Loker has your winning trophy. Congratulations to uh, Team G Racing. <coughs> right, before we go to Brian and Yolandi, Let's have a chat to Justin Mufingo, if you can come forward, because quite often the groom is the last person we think of, but he's the guy that spends so many hours of the day with the horse, feeding him, watering him, making him happy. You must be so happy this horse is back. Yeah, he's happy. He's very happy. Keep looking after him really well. Congratulations. There's your trophy, Patrick. If you can present, present Justin with his trophy, Patrick. There you go. That's for you. Congratulations. Well, and finally... Mr. Brian Bernard, Buffalo Bill, come and join us. I know that you love this game like the very air that you breathe. And I know that this horse is special to you. I know no worries is special to you. They're all special, but I'm so pleased it's worked out for this guy. Yes, uh, Andrew, so am I. Uh, you know, we know he's got a lot of potential, but he just didn't bring it to the course in the last couple of races. And... Um, it was actually Gareth that said we should gold him and see and I mean we gulled him three weeks ago and he's come back now. This is this is a serious racehorse. Well, you know, Linton Ryan, one of the wiliest, wisest old men in town, he stays below the radar, he never gets any recognition, but I know that he's been whispering. So maybe we should give him some kudos too. Yeah, but Linton's always whispering at the sales as well. He whispers a lot. <laughs> Did he whisper into the wallet? Yeah, no, not really. Eh? He whispers out of the wallet. <laughs> but, but I must say well done to, to, to Clava Flay. They bred this horse. And I think he's a serious racehorse. We'll see more of him. Well, the best I could do was to say, put the horse in your black book. Because I really always liked this horse. But I didn't think he'd be ready to win in the manner in which he's won, which is auguring very well for the future. Yes, but he's shown, he's shown in the past that he's got it. He's won a great three. Indeed. And uh, he, went, he went a bit off the boil. And since the gelding, is, it's worked. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what's going to work is for your mantelpiece. There's a winning trophy from Patrick Loker. Thank you. Thank you, Brian. To you and Leolendi. Congratulations. And, of there course, to Clava Flay. Oh, yeah. Instantly turned out photograph. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. Well, folks, we said put him in the notebook. He's now in the notebook, and he's ready for bigger and better things to fry. 
congratulations to Clava Freistad. One to go from the Gravel Track.